Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report. Today we're in West Hollywood for the Rap.com's pre-Emmy party to honor the best in television. So how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. I'm here, I've been uh, away for a little while and uh, back in town and I love being home. So let's talk a little bit about the many projects that you have going on. You're doing the Life of Ernest Hemingway. What is that all about? How's that going? Uh, Papa actually was a really amazing uh, journey. Uh, we shot it in Cuba. We actually were the only uh, production company ever allowed to be in the Finca, which is uh, a museum now, which is Hem Hemingway's uh, house in Cuba. And uh, uh, just being in Cuba, we w went back twice actually. and. Uh, and uh, was there for an extended period of time and it was amazing. It was just uh, really an interesting journey. Also, you know, Cuba is changing now and uh, we were just there right before all the changes. So, very interesting time in, in history. So, I, Ernest Hemingway had a very interesting life. You know, I read all about his first wife and all of that. His many wives that he ended up having in the end. What was the most shocking thing for you learning about his life or something that touched really close to you? You know, I I, uh, I knew a lot about him, but still, uh, going through the journey of him um, having the issues, uh, the family issues of suicide, and uh, and the how you know difficult it is to deal with that, and uh, for him and everybody around him, and uh, also the amount of alcohol he would consume, and uh, and this was about mostly the, uh, Mary, the last wife, and uh, and. Uh, to also learn more of what happened and uh, how amazing it was and he died so young uh, although he looked older but he was not that old so uh, it was really interesting. Now I hear you've been traveling all over what are some of the places that you've been seeing besides Cuba some of your favorite destinations? I just got back actually uh, from uh, Casablanca from Morocco uh, and Paris we just finished the movie uh, Arms and the Dudes with uh, uh, Jonah Hill and uh, Miles Teller and uh, Bradley Cooper and uh, and uh, that was interesting. Uh, Paris uh, was an interesting uh, visit. Uh, the look of Paris is changing. I mean, it's still beautiful though. But I mean, as far as where I've been, uh, one of my favorite destinations. I'm I'm a beach guy. It's take me to Bora Bora. And take me back to Bora Bora. And give me some pina coladas yeah, and just sorry. relax. You know, that's that's the way I am. Yeah. So your movie with Jonah Hill and Bradley Cooper, what was it like working with them? Were they super funny? How was it? Uh, well, Jonah is funny. I mean, he, that's that's his nature. The, 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 it's not really. It's a true story, so it's not really comedy per se. But there is comedy elements in there, and uh, Mars was fantastic. And uh, it's you know, I'm. Uh, it was just fun to be there. I did it mostly because of Todd Phillips, because you know uh, I wanted to work with him, and he's such a great director, and uh, and hope to do other big things with him in the future. In the spirit of television, what would you say is your favorite TV show of all time that you weren't on? Oh boy. <laughs> I know it's a big one. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, right now TV is so good. I mean, there's so many great shows on TV that is really tough. I don't even know how they get so much good uh, uh, programming on and it's becoming difficult because everybody has to binge watch it now because there's not enough time to really follow. And, uh, you know, everybody has their favorites. Of course, um, uh, you know, because of Homeland and because of the fact that I was on Homeland, uh, I'm a little attached to that show. Uh, but, you know, there's so many good shows, The House of Cards and, and uh, even, you know, just network TV. It's just to have programs that you, I love to laugh and Blackish is, is, is awesome. And uh, so there's a lot of good TV. It's really amazing. And I'm having a hard time voting because there's so many good performances and, uh, and the program, so it makes it difficult for, for us voters. So you mentioned binge watching, which is the last show that you binge watched? Actually it was Homeland. Homeland. Because of when you travel, you don't get time to follow, so you might as well just sit and uh, get some coffee and go for it. So last question, if you were to be any character in any TV, any TV show, past or present, which one would it be? And who would it be? You know, it's a childhood dream, uh, so I don't know if that has been. Uh, d well, I don't. I know it hasn't been done yet, but uh, uh, I, I always wanted to be in the James Bond uh, 
film so as a child and uh, and uh, I, I, well as far as being a James Bond being the James Bond I think that that ship has sailed <laughs> but, but there's still hope for uh, for kicking some butt in James Bond film so if there's a TV series out there uh, that they want to make I'm in Awesome. Well, we heard all that, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for talking Pleasure. to us. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching our coverage of the pre-Emmy celebration. Don't forget to leave us a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, let us know in the comments below which show you would like to be a part of.